हेलो सर अभी आप अपना माइक बंद कर सकते हैं सर
my esteemed uh, <coughs> sister and brother judges, Sri Prashant Singh, Advocate General, J.K. Jain, Assistant Solicitor General, Sri Raman Patel, President, High Court Bar Association, Sri Manod Sharma, President, High Court Advocates Bar Association, Sri R.P. Agarwal, President, Senior Advocates Association, Sri Suraj Sharma, President, High Court Bar Association, Indore, Sri M.P.S. Raghuvanshi, President, High Court Bar Association, Gwalia, will be speaking from Gwalia, learned members of the bar, officers of the registry, ladies and gentlemen. We have assembled here today to pay our respectful homage to Sri Justice Ramesh Chandra Lahoti, former Chief Justice of India, who left for his heavenly abode on 23rd March 2022 at the age of about 81 years. Sri Ramesh Chandra Lahoti was born on 1st November 1940 at Guna, Madhya Pradesh. He belonged to a family of advocates. His father, Sri Ratan Lal Lahoti, was a renowned advocate who commanded respect from all. Sri Justice Ramesh Chandra Lahoti received his school education at Guna and passed his BCom honors from the R.A. Poddar College of Commerce and Economics. Dadar, Bombay, in 1958. He obtained his LLB degree from Folkar College, Indore, in 1960 and was awarded a gold medal for standing first in his class. He enrolled as a pleader in 1960 and as an advocate in 1961. Thereafter, he started practice at Guna in all fields of law. In April 1977, he was selected to the Madhya Pradesh Higher Judicial Service and was appointed as a district and session judge. During the period from April 1977 to May 1978, he served at Gwalior and Ambikapur. He resigned in May 1978 and recommenced practice at the High Court of Madhya Pradesh, Gwalior Bench. He worked as a panel lawyer for the state and was also a panel lawyer for the Punjab National Bank, Syndicate Bank, State Bank of Indore, several insurance companies, financial institutions such as MPFC, Mandi Samitis and Municipalities, and the Dug Mahasang, etc. In 1985, he is appointed as a standing counsel for the Income Tax Department at the Gwalior Bench. He was also an active social worker. He held office in several educational, cultural and service clubs and societies. He was felicitated as Gaurav 85, namely the pride of the city of 1985 by the Gwalior Vikas Samiti. He was appointed as an additional judge the High Court of Madhya Pradesh on 3rd May 1988 and thereafter as a permanent judge on 4th August 1989. He was transferred as a judge of the Delhi High Court on 7th February 1994. He was appointed as a judge of the Supreme Court of India on 9th December 1998. He took oath as the 35th Chief Justice of India on 1st June 2004. He demitted office on 1st November 2005. During his nearly seven years tenure as a judge and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, he delivered several landmark judgments. His anxiety about delayed disposal of cases was apparent in his judgments. In, in P. Ramchandra Rao was the State of Karnataka, 2002, Part 4, SSC 578, he held. The goal of speedy justice can be achieved by a combined and result-oriented collective thinking and action on the part of the legislature, the judiciary, the executive and representative bodies and members of the bar. 
in makanlal bangal versus manas bhumiya 2001 part 2 scc 652 he observed the obligation of the presiding judge to hold the proceedings so as to achieve the dual objects of search for truth and delivering justice expeditiously cannot be subdued however sensitive the subject matter of the trial may be the courtroom is no place for passions emotions and surcharged enthusiasm while discussing the concept of an advocates and the legal system in the case of dp chadda was a triyogi narayan mishra 2001 part 2 scc page 221 while quoting justice crampton he observed an advocate is a perpetual retainer of truth and justice he presided over a three judge bench in the case of sarbananda sonowal versus union of india this case was filed seeking repeal of the illegal migrants determination of tribunals act 1983 the court in the judgment authored by him repealed the act on the ground that it was violative of articles 14 and 355 the constitution of india it was held that the reversal of the burden of proof in cases under the imdt act acted as a barrier to the detection of illegal migrants and was discriminatory against the people of assam Sri Justice Ramesh Chandra Lahoti participated in a number of international conferences and seminars relating to law and justice such as the Law Asia conference held in Tokyo the SARC law conference held at Karachi Pakistan Yale law school seminars on global constitutionalism etc Sri Ramesh Sri Justice Ramesh Chandra Lahoti also served as an arbitrator in many high profile matters after retiring as the Chief Justice of India in 2015 he was named the arbitrator in the Vodafone tax case that arose over Vodafone's acquisition of Hutchins and Vampo Limited's telecom assets in India the dispute pertained to issues of retrospective taxation capital gains tax and transfer pricing he was in the advisory board of the india international model united nations he was also the chairperson of the advisory board of the faculty of law at manav rajna university faridabad new delhi one of the advocates whom he trained as a junior was honorable justice jk maheshwari due to the hard work rendered by him he was elevated as a judge of this court and is presently a judge of the supreme court of india he was a unassuming unpretentious and an affable person his death is a loss not only to the members of his family but also to the legal fraternity he was held in high esteem and respect by the legal fraternity throughout the country the void created by this demise cannot be filled so easily the judiciary has suffered a loss of an eminent dynamic and a <coughs> courageous jurist shri justice ramesh chandra lahoti has left behind him his wife shrimati kaushalya lahoti a son three daughters five brothers three sisters and two grandsons His younger brother Justice Krishna Kumar Lahoti was a former judge of this court. I on behalf of my sister and brother judges and on my own behalf convey our heartfelt condolences to the members of the bereaved family of late Justice Ramesh Chandra Lahoti. We pray to the Almighty to confer eternal peace and solitude to the departed soul. and to bestow courage to the members of the family to bear this irreparable loss we request our general to send a copy of the proceedings of the reference to the bereaved family my lord honorable the chief justice shriman ravi malimat sahab 
Honorable Administrative Judge Shiman Shil Naguji, my lords, honorable companion judges of the court, respected office bearers of Bar Association, Indore, Jabalpur, Gwalior, respected office bearer of Bar Council, and esteemed members of the Bar. My lords, it is with a deep sense of sorrow that we have come to condole the passing away of Honorable Shri Justice Ramesh Chandra Rahoti, former Chief Justice Supreme Court of India, and a towering personality in the Indian judiciary from the state of Madhya Pradesh, who left for the heavenly abode on 23rd of March 2022 at New Delhi, leaving behind him a legacy of qualities of a great jurist at the time of his death. He was 81 years of age. My Lords, Justice Lahoti was born at Guna in Madhya Pradesh State on 1st of November 1940. His Lordship did graduation in law from Holkar College, Indore, and was awarded a gold medal for securing first position in the university. He joined the bar in Guna District in the year 1960 and enrolled as an advocate in the year 1961 and started practice at Guna. During his practice as an advocate, his lordship was appointed as panel lawyer and advocate on panel of various prestigious institutions. His lordship held offices in several educational, cultural and service clubs and societies and was felicitated as Gaurav 1985 by Gwalior Vikas Samiti. His Lordship was appointed as, his, as an additional judge of the Madhya Pradesh High Court on 3rd of May 1988 and made a permanent judge on 4th of August 1989. He was transferred to Delhi High Court on 7th of February 1994. The Supreme Court of India appointed His Lordship as One Man Inquiry Commission to investigate into claims of frustrated buyers of flats from Major Skipper Construction Company Limited. More than 800 claims were investigated into and decided within a period of 12 months. His Lordship was later appointed as a judge of the Supreme Court on 9th of December 1998. Thereafter, he was appointed as the 35th Chief Justice of India on 1st of June 2004. He demitted the Office of Chief Justice of Supreme Court of India on 1st of November 2005. His Lordship, Honorable Chief Justice Ramesh and Lahoti had participated in several international conferences and seminars related to law and justice. A few of them are Law Asia Conference held in Tokyo during August to September 2003, Sark Law Conference held in Karachi, Pakistan in February 2004, Biennial Conference of International Law Association held in Berlin, Germany in August 2004, and Yale Law School seminars on global constitutionalism during the period 2000 and 2003. He was also a member of 4th Indo-US Legal Forum Meet held in Washington and San Francisco in October 2002. He had participated in the Worldwide Common Law Judiciary Conference of Chief Justices in the year 2005 in Washington, USA. My Lords, Honorable Shri Justice R.C. Lahoti was a noted jurist he served one of the longest terms as Chief Justice and demitted the office after 17 months. After demitting the office of the Chief Justice of Supreme Court of India, His Lordship Honorable Justice Ramesh and Lahoti was on the advisory board of the Indian International Model United Nations. Honorable Sri Justice Ramesh and Lahoti was also the chairperson of the advisory board of the Faculty of Law at Manav Rachana University. My Lords, Honorable Shri Justice Ramesh and Lahoti was a gem of Indian judiciary. He shall always remain in our hearts. His demise is a great loss not only to the Indian judiciary but also to natives of the state of Madhya Pradesh. My Lords, I, as Advocate General of the State, on behalf of the state of Madhya Pradesh, law officers of the state, and on my own behalf, pay my respectful homage to the departed soul and pray to Almighty that soul of Honorable Sri Justice Lahoti may rest in peace. Om Shanti Shanti.
माय लॉर्ड चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ एमपी एमपी मानी रवि मालिमत जी मानी रवि मालिमत जी मध्य प्रदेश उच्च न्यायालय के मध्य प्रदेश उच्च न्यायालय के प्रशासनिक न्यायाधीश मानी जस्टिस सील नागू जी ग्वालियर और इंदौर खंड के ग्वालियर और इंदौर खंड के मानी प्रशासनिक न्यायाधीश महोदय मध्य प्रदेश के सभी मध्य प्रदेश के सभी मानी न्यायाधिपतिगण प्रदेश के एडवोकेट जनरल प्रदेश के एडवोकेट जनरल मानी प्रशांत सिंह जी मानी प्रशांत सिंह जी श्री जे के जैन असिस्टेंट सॉलिसिटर जनरल पटेल प्रेसिडेंट हाई श्री रमन पटेल प्रेसिडेंट हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन श्री मनोज शर्मा जी प्रेसिडेंट हाई कोर्ट एडवोकेट एडवोकेट बार एसोसिएशन श्री आर पी अग्रवाल प्रेसिडेंट सीनियर एडवोकेट काउंसिल श्री सूरज शर्मा जी प्रेसिडेंट हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन इंदौर श्री एम पी एस रघुवंशी जी प्रेसिडेंट हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन ग्वालियर एडवोकेट जनरल एडवोकेट जनरल श्री कृष्ण जनरल रक्षा जनरल मानी कृष्ण मूर्ति मिश्रा जी सभी उपस्थित पदाधिकारी उपस्थित पदाधिकारी गण और सज्जन हो देवी और सज्जन हो मैं गुना जिले का ही हूँ गुना जिले का ही हूँ 2005 से और 2005 से सात के खंड काल में भोपाल वार का दूसरी बार मैं भोपाल वार का दूसरी बार अध्यक्ष बना मैंने मानी लाहौटी जी का मैंने मानी लाहौटी जी का बहुत बड़ा कार्यक्रम बहुत बड़ा कार्यक्रम विधानसभा नवनिर्मित नए विधानसभा नवनिर्मित भवन में कराए थे और उस समय जब वो बोले थे और उस समय जब वो बोले थे पांच हजार लोग चार लोग पांच लोगों की उस सदन में साइलेंस पिंड्रॉप साइलेंस वो हमारे गुना जिले के नहीं वो हमारे गुना जिले के नहीं मध्य प्रदेश के नहीं भारत के गौरव थे और जब वो बोलते थे तो ऐसा लगता और जब वो बोलते थे तो ऐसा लगता था कि सरस्वती जी मुखारबिन किसी मुखारबिन से प्रकट होकर सबको आशीर्वाद दे रही सबको आशीर्वाद दे रही उनको उनको निकट से देखा है जिस जिसने निकट से देखा है अच्छा व्यवहार ऐसा अच्छा व्यवहार की बात और ऐसी अच्छी बात किसी भी जज के लिए किसी भी जज के लिए गौरव की विषय वस्तु हो सकती है मुझे ऐसा कोई अभी तक मुझे ऐसा कोई अभी तक समझ नहीं आया जो डायरेक्ट जिला जज के लिए सिलेक्ट हो एक साल बाद रिजाइन कर दे जिला जज साहब को तो वैसे ही हाईकोर्ट जिला जज साहब को तो वैसे ही हाईकोर्ट जज बनना है लेकिन रिजाइन कर दिया उन्होंने डायरेक्ट हाईकोर्ट जज बन और फिर डायरेक्ट हाईकोर्ट जज बने और मुझे नहीं लगता और मुझे नहीं लगता कि कई जजों के को सुपरसिट करते हुए उन्होंने डायरेक्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट में विलक्षण व्यक्तित्व के धनी विलक्षण व्यक्तित्व के धनी ऑफिस के उनके ऑफिस के जब वो हाई कोर्ट जज बने जब वो हाई कोर्ट जज बने उस वक्त भी और उसके पहले भी मनली में माइलॉर्ड जेके महेश्वरी जी उनका काम देखते थे वो भी सारे संस्कार उन्हें संजय रूपये मैं इस प्रसंग पे कहना चाहूंगा कि जेके को अगर एक फोन कोई मिस कॉल कर दे उसका उलट के जवाब देते हैं उससे बात करते हैं और कोई भी उनसे मिलने पहुंचे तो उसका ऐसा सम्मान करते हैं जैसे अतिथि आया हो घर में ये संस्कार जो जजेस के होते हैं इससे हम वकील लोग सीखते हैं हमको सीखने का अवसर मिलता है मैंने उनको भोपाल में जब मेरा उद्बोधन हुआ तो मैंने उनसे कहा था कि मैं दो एकड़ जमीन कैसे भी आपको देने को तैयार हूं आप भोपाल शिफ्ट हो जाएगी आप इसी साल रिटायर हो रहे हैं आप भोपाल शिफ्ट हो जाएगी प्रदेश चाहता था कि एक लॉ के अकादमी भोपाल में उन्हीं के नाम से बनाई जाए और उसमें लोग सीखें गुना में जब मैं टेनल जैसी था सेवेंटी में मैंने लॉ पास किया तो इनके फादर से मिलने जाया करता था मैंने सदैव उनको पढ़ते हुए देखा रतन लाल जी लाहौर ठीक है और कोई इनके छोटे ब्रदर के के लाहौटी जी ने भी वही सारे के सारे संस्कार किए हैं माई लॉर्ड चीफ जस्टिस और मेरे पुराने पूर्व वक्ता एडवोकेट जनरल उनके जीवन पर जो प्रकाश डाला है उसके बाद मुझे कुछ कहने की जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन वो एक महान विद्युता के साथ महान इंसान थे और बड़े भारी ऑरेटर थे वैसे तो मेरा मानना है कि हर जज ऑरेटर होता है क्योंकि लिख वो ही सकता है 
जिसके अंदर बोलने की कला हो जिसके अंदर बोलने की कला नहीं वो लिख नहीं सकता वो कैसे ट्रेनों को डिक्टेशन देगा तो हर जज को मैं एक बेहतर ऑडिटर मानता हूं लेकिन उनमें भी जो सुपर स्थिति थी वो मानी लाहौटी जी की थी ऐसे लोग जिनके जीवन का आदर्श जिनके जीवन की कार्यप्रणाली से हम सब सीखने को मिलता है ऐसे लोग क्यों चले जाते हैं ईश्वर उन्हें हमारे बीच से क्यों बुलाता है उनको सौ सवा सौ साल तक क्यों हमारे साथ नहीं रहने देता इस समझ से परे बात मैं स्टेट बार काउंसिल के चेयरमैन के नाते प्रदेश के नब्बे हजार वकीलों की ओर से महान आत्मा को श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करता हूं और परम प्रताप परमात्मा की प्रार्थना करता हूं तो उनके परिवार और हम सभी को यह महान दुख बहन करने की क्षमता प्रदान करें सम्मान्य मुख्य न्यायाधीश सम्मान्य न्यायाधीशगण विधि अधिकारी एवं अधिवक्ता बंधु आज हम एक ऐसे व्यक्तित्व को श्रद्धांजलि देने उनको स्मरण करने एकत्रित हुए हैं जिन्हें संपूर्ण न्याय जगत बड़े ही आदर एवं सम्मान से देखता रहा है गुनाह से उदित हुआ वह चमकता सितारा जिसने अपनी किरणों की आवाज़ से न केवल गुनाह को ही गौरवान्वित किया वरन सूर्य की लालिमा के समान प्रकाश की किरणों से संपूर्ण मध्य प्रदेश और फिर पूरे भारतवर्ष को आलोकित किया स्वर्गीय श्री रमेश चंद लाहौटी जी जिनका लालन पालन एवं प्रारंभिक शिक्षा एवं दीक्षा परिवार के संरक्षण में गुना में संपन्न हुई बचपन से ही होनहार विलक्षण बुद्धि के धनी थे महाविद्यालयीन शिक्षा में सा प्रथम श्रेणी में उत्तीर्ण की तथा विधि स्नातक की उपाधि प्रथम स्थान प्राप्त कर स्वर्ण पदक प्राप्त किया विधि स्नातक की उपाधि के पश्चात जन्मस्थली गुना से वकालत प्रारंभ की स्वर्गीय श्री लाहौटी जी के जीवन पर दृष्टिपात करते हैं तो पाते हैं कि आत्मविश्वास से भरपूर दृढ़ निश्चय के माध्यम से भविष्य को प्रगति के शुपान की ओर ले जाने में सफलता अर्जित की जिला नदी जिला न्यायाधीश के पद से इस्तीफा देकर पुनः वकालत प्रारंभ करना आत्मविश्वास ही है लगभग दस वर्ष मध्य प्रदेश उच्च न्यायालय ग्वालियर में अपनी प्रतिभा का परिचय मध्य प्रदेश शासन पंजाब नेशनल बैंक सिंडिकेट बैंक एवं स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया विभिन्न कंपनियों वित्त संस्थाओं आयकर विभाग ने अनेक संस्थाओं का प्रदित कर उनको लाभान्वित किया एवं प्रतिष्ठा अर्जित की आपकी प्रतिभा से प्रभावित होकर सन उन्नीस में आपका चयन मध्य प्रदेश उच्च न्यायालय के न्यायाधीश के गौरवशाली पद पर एवं मध्य प्रदेश एवं दिल्ली उच्च न्यायालय में सेवाएं प्रदान करने के पश्चात लगभग दस वर्षों के पश्चात आपका चयन भारत के उच्चतम न्यायालय के न्यायाधीश के गर्म्यामय पद पर किया गया स्वर्गीय श्री नाह न्यायाधीश रमेश चंद लाहौटी जी का प्रगति का पहिया निरंतर आगे बढ़ते हुए भारत के सर्वोच्च न्यायालय के मुख्य न्यायाधीश के पद पर पहुँचकर एक नवंबर उन्नीस को सेवा से निवृत्त हुए स्वर्गीय श्री लाहौटी जी हम सभी के लिए प्रेरणा स्त्रोत रहे हैं उनकी मृत्यु न्यायिक जगत के लिए अपूर्णीय क्षति है इस अवसर पर मैं अपनी ओर से भारत सरकार की ओर से सभी केंद्रीय विधि अधिकारी की ओर से उन्हें विनम्र श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करता हूँ ओम शांति ओम शांति माननीय मुख्य न्यायाधिपति आपको प्रणाम करता हूँ अन्य न्यायाधीशगण उन सबको भी मैं उसी आदर के साथ अपना अभिनंदन करते हुए उन्हें प्रणाम करता हूँ होनहार बिरवान के होत चीखने पात फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट लाइफ ही वॉज वेरी मच ब्रिलियंट स्टूडियस 
गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट एंड आर सी लाहौटी वॉज द एक्सीलेंट पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ दिस नॉट ओनली स्टेट बट ऑफ इंडिया बिकॉज ही अचीव्ड ए बिग पोस्ट ऑफ जस्टिस ही बिकम ए चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट आपने कॉलेज लाइफ में भी गुना जैसी सिटी में जो एक छोटी नगरी कहलाती है वहाँ से जब कोई पर्सनालिटी उठती है और एक हैसियतदार अपने आप को तैयार करती है तो ऐसा लगता है कि मध्य प्रदेश में भी एक सी एक हैसियत सामने आ गई है आपने आप और आपके ब्रदर ये दोनों भाई न्यायपालिका में थे लाहौटी साहब और दूसरे लाहौटी साहब दोनों ये चीफ जस्टिस तक हुए और वो स्टेट लेवल में न्यायाधीश न्यायाधिपति की हैसियत से इस शहर में आए आपके ग्वालियर विकास समिति में गौरव एट्टी फाइव पचासी में इन्हें गौरव की हैसियत दी गई थी उसके बाद सन अट्ठासी में न्यायमूर्ति की हैसियत से नियुक्त किए गए अब सन उन्नीस में दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट के न्यायाधिपति नियुक्त हुए गए और मध्य प्रदेश की न्यायिक सेवा के बाद उन्नीस में सर्वोच्च न्यायालय दिल्ली में आपकी नियुक्ति हुई ऐसे हैसियतदार व्यक्ति जो इस प्रदेश की हैसियत को कायम करें उसका अचानक दो चार दिन की बीमारी से अंतकाल हो जाना हमारे बीच से एक बहुत बड़ी पर्सनालिटी बहुत बड़ी हैसियत हमारे बीच से खो गई है उसके लिए न केवल प्रदेश बल्कि पूरा हिंदुस्तान उस व्यक्ति के जाने से कांप उठा ये दोनों भाई उनके ब्रदर भी जस्टिस थे लाहौटी साहब और लाहौटी साहब दोनों जैसा उनका यथा स्थिति में नाम था वैसे ही उन्होंने अपनी हैसियत बनाई मैं अपनी ओर से और हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन के सभी सदस्यों की ओर से आप सभी इस हाल में उपस्थित व्यक्तियों की ओर से उनके चरणों में अपना नमन करता हूँ कि और ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करता हूँ हे प्रभु ऐसी हस्तियाँ इस प्रदेश में निरंतर सतत भेजते रहना ताकि हमारी हिंदुस्तान में हैसियत बन सके इस तरह एक शायर कहता है इस तरह तय हुआ जिंदगी का सफ़र अब जिंदगी थक गई मौज चलती रही कहा है ना कि आया है सो जाएगा राजा रंग फकीर सभी को एक दिन जाना है आज वो गए हैं कल हम जाएंगे लेकिन यादें अगर छोड़ गए हैसियत बना के अपने आप को चले गए तो वो चिर स्मरणीय रहेगा और इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ आप सबको पुनः प्रणाम करते हुए अपनी बात को समाप्त करता हूँ my lord the chief justice my lords the companion judges shri prashant singh advocate general dr vijay kumar choudhary chairman mp state bar council shri j k jain assistant solicitor general shri raman patel president high court bar association jabalpur shri r p agrawal president senior advocates is council jabalpur shri suraj sharma president high court bar association indore श्री एम पी एस रघुवंशी प्रेसिडेंट हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन ग्वालियर जुडिशल ऑफिसर्स ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द रजिस्ट्री मेंबर्स ऑफ द बार लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वी हैव असेंबल टुडे टू कंडोल द सेट डिमाइस ऑफ ऑनरेबल श्री जस्टिस रमेश चंद्र लाहौटी फॉर्मर चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया ऑनरेबल श्री जस्टिस रमेश चंद्र लाहौटी वॉज बॉर्न फर्स्ट नवम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट गुना 
After completing school education at Guna, his lordship did his B.Com honours from University of Bombay in 1958, an LLB from Vikram University Ujjain in 1960, topping in the university and earning a gold medal. His lordship was enrolled as a pleader in the year 1960 and as an advocate in 1961 and started his law practice from Guna. Honorable Sri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti was appointed as a district and sessions judge in April 1977, directly recruited from the bar to the state higher judicial services. For a brief period, his lordship served at Gwalior and Ambikapur, resigning in the year 1978 to resume his law practice, mainly at the Gwalior bench of Madhya Pradesh High Court. His lordship commanded a lucrative practice and was a much sought after lawyer. His lordship practiced in the constitutional, administrative, civil and criminal sides and many other branches of law with ease and finesse. His command over civil law was phenomenal. During the course of his law practice, his lordship represented the state being on the state panel and various financial institutions, banks, insurance companies, mandi samitis, municipal bodies and other state and central body corporates. His lordship was standing counsel for the income tax department at the Gwalior bench. Honorable Sri Justice Ramin Chand Lahoti was active in social, cultural and educational field and was a well-known figure throughout the country. Honorable Sri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti was appointed as additional judge, High Court of Madhya Pradesh, on 3rd May 1988 and as a permanent judge on 4th August 1989. During his tenure as the judge of Madhya Pradesh High Court, his lordship delivered numerous important judgments which are still guiding us. His lordship was transferred to Delhi High Court on 7th February 1994 as a precursor to greater offices in life. On 9th December 1998, his lordship was appointed judge of the Supreme Court of India, wherein his lordship on 1st June 2004 took oath as the 35th Chief Justice of India. His lordship's younger brother, Honorable Sri Justice K.K. Lahoti, adorned the high office of judge of Madhya Pradesh High Court and also officiated as the acting Chief Justice. Honorable Sri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti was a very active judge and decided a range of important matters touching various facets of life, be it the landmark decisions in educational matters, civil causes, criminal law, constitutional issues, and the administrative law. Honorable Sri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti participated in several international conferences and seminars related to law and justice, such as Law Asia Conference held in Tokyo, Japan in August, September 2003, Sark Law Conference held in Karachi, Pakistan in February 2004, Biennial Conference of International Law Association held in Berlin, Germany in August 2004, Yale Law School Seminars on Global Constitutionalism in 2002, 2003, and 2005. His Lordship attended the fourth Indo-US Legal Forum meet held in Washington in St. Francisco in October 2002 as a member. His Lordship participated in the Worldwide Common Law Judiciary Conference of Chief Justices in 2005 in Washington, USA. His Lordship attended 8th Sark Law Conference held in Paro, Bhutan in June 2005 and the 14th Commonwealth Law Conference in London in September 2005. Honorable Sri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti demitted the Office of Chief Justice of India on 31st October 2005. His lordship after his retirement was appointed as arbitrator by Honorable Supreme Court of India in various high-profile matters. That during the span of illustrious career as an advocate and as a judge, Honorable Sri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti has been conferred with various honors and accolades. Some of them deserve a mention. On 12-10-2006, Rani Durgavati Vishwadhyale Jabalpur conferred the degree of Doctor of Law, Honoris Causa, in August, presence of Honorable Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, President of India. On 26th November 2006, Dr. Manmohan Singh, Prime Minister of India, presented the National Law Day Award 2006 to Justice Lahoti for his unique contribution in the field of administration of justice, making it more friendly to the people at large. On August 26, 2007, Lok Jagran Tulsi Shodh Sansthan Allahabad conferred the prestigious Goswami Tulsi Das. Samarohan Samman on his Lordship. On March 2nd, 2008, Vikram Vishwadhyalaya Ujjain conferred the degree of Doctor of Laws <coughs> honor, Honoris Causa in the presence of Honorable Dr. Balram Jakhar, Governor of Madhya Pradesh, and Honorable Sri Naval Kishor Sharma, Governor of Gujarat. On July 18, 2008, on the day of Guru Purnima, his Lordship was decorated with 
श्री राम किंकर सम्मान बाय श्री रामायणम ट्रस्ट श्रीधाम अयोध्या ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड नाइन इज लॉर्डशिप वॉज डेकोरेटेड विथ स्वामी श्री अखंडानंद सरस्वती अलंकरण टू थाउजेंड बाय श्री राजीव लोचनम ट्रस्ट जबलपुर फॉर अचीविंग आइडियल्स वर्थ एम्युलेटिंग इन द फील्ड ऑफ संस्कार सृजन संस्कृति पोषण सेवा समर्पण ऑन फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड नाइन हिज लॉर्डशिप वॉज डेकोरेटेड विथ नेशनल ऑनर श्री भाव भावेश्वर राष्ट्र निधि रत्न बाय श्री सदगुरु स्वामी अखंडानंद मेमोरियल चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट वारूमाल गुजरात for exceptional contribution in the field of judicial reforms and upholding constitutional rights of citizens of india in the year 1985 his lordship was felicitated as gaurav 85 pride of city 1985 by gwalior vikas samiti honorable shri justice <coughs> ramesh chand lahoti was member advisory board of indian international model united nations chairperson of the advisory board of the faculty of law at manav rajna university On 19th October 2011 his lordship was appointed chairman of the advisory board Shri Aurobindo Foundation for Integral Management Pondicherry his lordship was founder member of Rotary Club of Guna in the then Rotary District 305 and remained an active Rotarian for 21 years from 1973 to 1994 Honorable Shri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti authored numerous articles in newspapers and journals and wrote various books two of them deserve a special mention Preamble the spirit and backbone of the constitution of india and canons of judicial ethics his lordship was a most sought after public speak speaker and a true social reformer honorable shri justice ramesh chand lahoti throughout his life took immense interest in legal aid services and alternate dispute res resolution systems his lordship was very keen in educational reforms and propagating indian cultural values and traditions honorable shri justice ramesh chand lahoti possessed excellent qualities of head and heart as an individual as an advocate as a judge and as a social reformer a large number of members of bar including myself who had the privilege of appearing before his lordship still remember his god gifted temperament and amazing ability to simplify even the most complex of legal concepts with a clear aim of doing complete justice honorable shri justice ramesh chand lahoti left for his heavenly abode on 23rd march 2022 Honorable Shri Justice Ramesh Chand Lahoti survived by his wife Shrimati Kaushalya Lahoti his three daughters namely Shrimati Pankaj Soni Shrimati Archana Mantri and Shrimati Vandana Marda and son Shri Ujjwal Lahoti I on behalf of High Court Advocates Bar Association Jabalpur and on my own behalf offer my heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family and pray to God to bestow enough strength to the bereaved family to bear this shock I pray to God to grant eternal peace to the departed soul Om Shanti Shanti my lord honorable the chief justice and my lords present and far we have assembled here today to pay homage to honorable chief justice ramesh chand lahoti who left for his heavenly abode on 23rd of march 2022 my lord justice lahoti was born on 1st november 1940 at guna with a learned spoon in his mouth if i may say so having completed his school and college education Justice Lahoti obtained a LLB degree from Vikram University with Jain as a regular student of Holkar College in Dor standing first in merit and was awarded gold medal medal he was first enrolled as a pleader in 1960 and as an advocate in 1961 and started practice at Guna he was appointed as district and session judge in April 1977 which office was too small for him as he was destined to go higher and higher his lordship resigned from the said post in may 1978 and started practice mainly in the high court of madhya pradesh at gwalior bench my lord worked as legal adviser to a number of bodies including bank insurance companies finance corporation mandi samiti municipalities etc justice lahoti was appointed as an additional judge of judge of the high court of madhya pradesh on 3 5 1988 
and as a permanent judge on 4-8-1989. My Lord Justice Lahoti was transferred to Delhi High Court on 7-2-1994 on and thereafter he was appointed as judge of the Supreme Court on 9-12-1998 and became its Chief Justice on 1st June 2004. Once my Lord started climbing step by step, he never looked back till he achieved the highest office in judiciary. <coughs> my Lord, in fact, was the son of goddess of learning. He was the master of English and Hindi languages and also had deep knowledge of Urdu, Urdu language. My Lord was a jurist, simple and unassuming. Even after retirement, my Lord was most sought for arbitrator in most important and profiled national and international arbitration matters. In 2005, Justice Lahoti was named as the arbitrator in Vodafone tax case that arose over Vodafone acquisition of Hutchinson Wamco Limited's telecom asset in India. The dispute pertained to issue of retrospective taxation, capital gains, taxes and transfer pricing. He was also on the advisory board of the India, Indian National, India National, International Model for United Nations. He was also the chairperson of the advisory board faculty of law at Mano Ratna University. In 2006, the then Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, presented my Lord Late Justice Lahoti with National Law Award for his unique contribution in the field of administration of justice. While paying tribute to late Justice R.C. Lahoti, the present Honorable the Chief Justice of India paid a tribute to him, and I quote, a fearless and an independent judge who enriched legal jurisprudence. In the death of late Justice Lahoti, the entire legal fraternity has suffered great loss, and the void created by him is difficult to be filled up. Words fall short in depicting the achievements of Justice Lahoti. <coughs> I, on behalf of Senior Advocates Council and my own behalf, pay homage to the departed soul and pray the Almighty to give enough strength and courage to the members of the Beat family to bear the shock. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. मध्य प्रदेश के माननीय मुख्य न्यायाधिपति श्री रवि मलिमठ जी एवं समस्त न्यायमूर्तिगण मध्य प्रदेश के माजभक्ता श्री प्रशांत सिंह जी स्टेट बार काउंसिल ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश के अध्यक्ष श्री विजय कुमार चौधरी जी असिस्टेंट सॉलिसिटर जनरल यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया श्री जे के जैन जी हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन जबलपुर के अध्यक्ष श्री रमन पटेल जी हाई कोर्ट एडवोकेट बार एसोसिएशन जबलपुर के अध्यक्ष श्री मनोज शर्मा जी अध्यक्ष सीनियर एडवोकेट्स काउंसिल जबलपुर श्री आर पी अग्रवाल जी प्रेसिडेंट हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन ग्वालियर श्री एम पी एस रघुवंशी जी आज हम जिनकी श्रद्धांजलि सभा के लिए एकत्रित हुए हैं ऐसे हमारे माननीय पूर्व मुख्य न्यायाधिपति महोदय श्री रमेश चंद जी लाहौटी साहब जो कि न्याय जगत में अपनी एक अलग छवि स्थापित करके गए हैं मुझसे पूर्व के सम्मानीय अधिवक्ताओं द्वारा माननीय मुख्य न्यायाधिपति महोदय के बारे में व उनके द्वारा किए गए न्यायदान के बारे में विस्तृत रूप से बताया गया है उसकी पुनरावृत्ति न करते हुए स्वयं के अनुभव को साझा करते हुए ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि जब मैं इंदौर अभिभाषक संघ इंदौर की कमेटी में सदस्य था तब माननीय मुख्य न्यायाधिपति महोदय से मिलने का प्रथम सु प्राप्त हुआ तब अंग्रेजी में एक कहावत है फर्स्ट इम्प्रेशन इज लास्ट इम्प्रेशन पहली मुलाकात में जिस आत्मीय भाव एवं नए लोगों को आत्मसात करने के विचार से उन्होंने मुझसे चर्चा की वो पल मैं आज भी नहीं भूल पाता हूं और जब मुझे संदेश प्राप्त हुआ कि माननीय मुख्य न्यायाधिपति महोदय हमें छोड़कर देवलोक चले गए हैं तब मैं पूर्ण रूप से स्तब्ध रह गया और ऐसा महसूस हुआ कि परिवार का कोई बड़ा और हम सबको संभालने वाला मार्गदर्शक पथ प्रदर्शक हमको अकेला छोड़कर चला गया है मध्य प्रदेश के छोटे से जिले गुना से निकल अपनी मेहनत और लगन से न्याय जगत के सर्वोच्च पद पर सुशोभित हुए जो उनकी मेहनत लगन 
और न्याय निपुण होने का स्वयं प्रमाण है इसी क्रम में वे भारत के सर्वोच्च न्यायालय में काफ़ी समय के लिए मुख्य न्यायाधिपति के रूप में विराजमान रहे और अपने मुख्य न्यायाधिपति के कार्यकाल के दौरान मध्य प्रदेश उच्च न्यायालय को कई न्यायमूर्ति दिए उसमें से एक वर्तमान में सर्वोच्च न्यायालय में पदस्थ माननीय न्यायाधिपति श्री जितेंद्र कुमार महेश्वरी हैं जो मुख्य न्यायाधिपति श्री लालटू साहब के व्यक्तित्व पहचान एवं दूरदृष्टि की का परिचायक हैं माननीय मुख्य न्यायाधिपति लालटू साहब को अपने विवाह अंदाज के लिए जाने जाते थे बहुत नपे तुले शब्दों में अपनी बड़ी बड़ी बात रखते थे दोनों भाषाओं में निपुण थे माननीय मुख्य न्यायाधिपति लालटू साहब का व्यक्तित्व इतना बड़ा रहा कि वे नेक कार्य को भी गोपनीय तरीके से किया करते थे ना कि दिखावा करते हुए जैसा कि हमको उनके चले जाने के पश्चात समाज के टेस्ट में दान दिए गए एक करोड़ रुपए की गोपनीयता रखने के आश्वासन पर दान किया गया था उनका एक वीडियो जो काफ़ी प्रचलित हुआ जिसमें उन्होंने यह बात कही थी जो कि बहुत ही प्रेरणादायक है उन्होंने कहा जो लोग यहाँ मेरा तेरा करते हैं उनका दृष्टिकोण बहुत ही छोटा रहता है उदार मन वालों को तो सारा विश्व ही उनका अपना परिवार है ऐसी व्यापक सोच के धनी व्यक्तित्व का हमारे बीच से चला जाना न्याय जगत के लिए अपूर्णीय क्षति है इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ मैं अपनी ओर से उच्च न्यायालय अभिभाषक संघ इंदौर की ओर से दिवंगत आत्माओं को विनम्र श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करता हूं और परमपिता परमवर्ष से प्रार्थना करता हूं कि वे दिवंगत आत्मा को अपने श्री चरणों में विशेष स्थान प्रदान करें ओम शांति ओम My Lord, Honorable the Chief Justice and other Honorable Chief Justice and other Honorable Judges present on this occasion, distinguished speakers, members of the bar, family members of Honorable Justice R C Lahoti, officers of the Registry, ladies and gentlemen. We have assembled today to make reference to the sad demise of Justice R C Lahoti, a former judge of this court and the Chief Justice of India. is very difficult and in fact impossible for me or anyone to encompass in a few words the distinguished career of an eminent jurist like justice arch lahoti his life span of almost 8 decades symbolized significant achievements at each stage being honor and glory not only to himself also for this institution It is imperative for me to mention here that late Sri Justice Lahoti was born on 1st of November 1940 in Guna, Madhya Pradesh, in my hometown. His extraordinary achievements and an inspiration even today for so many lawyers like me who come from such small towns and have a dream of making a name for themselves. in this demanding and noble profession justice lahoti enrolled as a pleader in 1960 and then advocate in the year 1961 thereafter in april 1977 he was recruited from the war to the state high judicial services and was appointed as district and session judge he however resigned from the said position in may 1978 and reverted to law practice he was later appointed as additional judge of this prestigious institution in the high court of madhya pradesh on may 3rd 1988 and made permanent judge on august 4 1989 he was transferred to delhi high court in february 1994 justice lahoti was elevated to the supreme court of india on december 9 1998 and took over as cgi on june 1st 2004 before retiring on october 31st 2005 by the distinguished judge his knowledge of all branches of law and his intellectual exposition of principles of law as well as his strong views in the administration of justice are reflected in his judgments and orders during his nearly 7 years tenure in the supreme court of india justice lahoti authored 342 judgments of the 342 judgments written by justice lahoti during his tenure 
is authors se was mostly in criminal 21.6% civil 18.1% and tenancy 14.9% it is like such notable judgment authored by justice lahore tiwas sarvananda sonowal versus state of versus union of india the chief minister of assam filed a petition asking for repeal of illegal migrants determination by tribunal act act place the responsibility to prove an individual as an illegal migrant upon the police as opposed to the individual having to furnish proof of citizenship as provided in the foreigners act of 1946 the court in judgment authored by chief justice lahoti repealed the act because it was violative of article 14 and 355 of the law it was held that reversal of burden of proof in the cases under imdt act acted as barrier to the detection of illegal migrants and was discriminatory against the people of india in 2006 it then prime minister of india dr manmohan singh presented him with national law day award for his unique contribution in the field of administration of justice making it more friendly to the people at large justice lahoti was a warm friendly person who could mix with one and all on even terms he was unassuming unpretentious and affable his death is a loss not only to his members of family but also to the large number of friends and admirers he was held in high esteem and respect by the legal fraternity his life was full and beggar and diligence until almost the last day all that remains now is the memory of work he did for the, for this profession diverse other fields on behalf of all the respected members of the high court bar association earlier my own behalf i extend to the members of family our heartfelt condolences in this hour of sorrow may soul reach rest in peace om shanti om shanti
As a mark of respect to the departed soul, the court work for the rest of the day is suspended. <laughs>